All right, so in this problem, they ask us what equation can be used to solve the problem below. So here's the problem. If 4 times a number is increased by 15, the result is 3 less than 6 times the number. Find the number. So with a problem like this, I, I think the nicest approach is to break it into pieces. And that's generally helpful in all problem solving, right? Take a tough problem and break it in smaller pieces until you feel comfortable dealing with it. So I'm just going to read it in order. If 4 times a number, well, that's my first piece. Notice they don't tell you what the number is, right? It's just a number. So I think x is a good choice for any number. It's unknown. And 4 times that, well, I would just multiply that by 4, right? That's 4 times a number. So we're starting. Then that number is increased by 15. So after we multiply it, we add 15. And that would look like this, right? Because here, you take a number, multiply it by 4, order of operations, that comes first, and then you add 15. The result is, well, that's just an equal sign because this will give us a result. 3 less than 6, well, let's put this together. 3 times, 3 less than 6 times the number. Well, to get 3 less than something, I have to subtract 3 from whatever I'm looking at. So it's not 3 minus something. Right? It's 3 subtracted from 6 times the number, or 6x, six, 6 times x. And if you look at what this is saying, 3 less than 6 times a number. Right? Take a number, subtract 3 from it, that's 3 less than whatever you had. If it said 3 minus 6 times a number, then it would be choice A, 3 minus 6x. But that's not what we have here. So A is out. Find the number. So if this is one of our choices, we're done. Right? But they might write it in different terms, so let's just keep looking. C says 4x plus 15 equals 6x minus 3. Oh, well that's exactly what we have. So C is our answer right here. But let's look at B and D. Here in B, they write 4x plus 15 equals 6 times x minus 3. Well, that would be 3 less than a number, right? And 6 times that value, right? So 6 times the result of this subtraction. But here, we're subtracting from 6 times the number, so this is not our answer. And D says 4 times x plus 15. No, these parentheses, that would mean 15 more than a number quadrupled, or, or 15 more than a number, and that product times 4, which is not what we have. Now, that's out as well. One other thing you might encounter is if they factor here, right? You could write this as 4x plus 15 equals, well, what's a common factor between 6 and 3? Well, 6 and 3 both have 3 as a factor. So if I pull that out, I get 2x, right, because 2x times 3 would be 6x, minus 1, because 1 times 3 would be 3, and we're not changing anything, so we know this gives us the original term over here, or, excuse me, expression over here. So we haven't changed anything, we're just rewriting it using the distributive property. If you use the distributive property here, 3 times 2x minus 3 times 1 would give you this. But they might, they might do that. And if that's the case, you know, this is, still the, this is still the answer, right? It's just simplified a little bit more. All right, hope this helped.